In this video, we are going to be reviewing some very unique BOTM figures. Three tiny little dinosaurs who all glow in the dark. In front of us, we have the 118th scale Protoceratops Andrusai, Velociraptor Mongoliensis, and Sitakasaurus Mongoliensis. Specifically, we have the three-pack glow-in-the-dark variants. In terms of sculpt and articulation, these little guys are genuinely impressive to me. A while back, during the summer of 2022, I picked up the 118th scale standard release Taco, the Lineheraptor, and the Green Protoceratops. I'm not gonna pronounce its species name, I refuse. And I was very impressed by all of those figures as well. For how small these figures are, they have a lot of joints and a surprisingly solid range of motion. The raptors especially impressed me with the fact that they actually do have wrist and elbow joints and two joints in their neck. These things legitimately have better neck articulation than the original first release 1-6 scale raptors. These raptors also feature both a foot clip and a posing rod cradle thingy for jumping poses, and all three figures have an extra pair of legs and a base with a foot peg to help with posing. The only issue I have articulation-wise is that I do kind of wish the protos had joints in their wrists because sometimes their toes do be looking kind of funky, but besides that, these things are really fun to play around with. I think the tacos are probably my favorites to pose and articulate, and I'd say the protos are my favorites just visually. They look so good for their size, the detail really pops. Out of the original lineup of figures I bought, the only one I had any real complaints with was was the Lineheraptor. The lower jaw clearly had some alignment issues, giving the figure a pretty gnarly underbite. Uh, one of the elbows was really loose for some reason, it just flies around freely with no friction at all. And I also could just never get this foot clip to work. I have tried and tried again and tried again while filming this video, and this poor man is just so wobbly. The glow-in-the-dark Velociraptor, however, totally works. The feet look the same, the clip looks the same, but for some reason this one just works. Not perfectly, but it works. I'm not sure if this was an intentional change or if this is just a your mileage may vary sort of situation, but either way, I'm happy about that. The Velociraptor's underbite is also considerably less prominent, and hey, no loose elbows. Now, obviously, these three figures feature some very simplistic color choices uh, as an homage to those old, cheap, glow-in-the-dark dinosaur toys that I think almost all of us must remember from our childhood. And as an homage, these work super well. Each one has a basic single-color gradient coming down from their back, plain black dots as eyes, and violently bright red tongues, which I adore. These little dudes definitely capture the vibe that David Silva was going for. And you know, now that I think about it, I don't actually think I ever owned any of those old glow-in-the-dark dinosaurs. I think my main memory of them actually comes from the second Dinosaur Story movie by Hoops and Dino Man, where I'm pretty sure they were supposed to be ghosts, which is incredible, obviously. <laughs> I hope someone else remembers that as well. Now, there is one very important question that needs answering here, and that is how well do these figures actually glow? And the answer is pretty darn well. This was after about 10 or 15 minutes under a desk lamp, and they looked very nice. The Protoceratops definitely glows the brightest, mainly due to its paint being a lot more translucent than the paint on the other two, but all three of them glow about as bright as I was expecting, so I'm satisfied. All in all, these are some really cool novelty items as far as BOTM stuff goes. If you're looking for something unique and charming and conveniently sized for your collection, I think these would be a great addition, especially if you have fond memories of playing with those old cheap glow-in-the-dark dinosaurs. If you would like to purchase these or any Beasts of the Mesozoic products, there will be a link in the description to the Creative Beast website. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all whenever I upload next.